I dated dudes and I thought, you know, maybe I was going to be a hoe later in life. And uh, <laughs> the whole actuality was I just loved women. Yeah, I remember you, Um, I kind of watched a recent interview you had where you implied that someone, or I don't know if it was an executive told you this, or whoever it was implied that you being a stud was one of the things. You identify yourself as a stud, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I'm a steed. What is that? It's a, it's a stud. Okay. <laughs> it's a, just more of the aggressive, you know, person in the relationship or a tomboy, but... And, that, and you and you commented, you said that that was one of the things that you felt or they felt held you back. Um, do you remember that conversation? I think uh, I think what conversation you're talking about is it was more about it was actually an agent of mine who was gay. And he literally I did this play not too long ago. And, uh, you know, it's a lesbian play and it got like two straight women in it or three. But needless to say. I'm doing this play for the first time. It's huge. And it's in front of this audience, like old white people, conservative, like people, you just, they not coming to my comedy show if I post it. Um, and I'm getting all this love from them and so forth and so on. So I say that to say, I remember like opening night, I walk outside and he's like, he's like, can I, like, he pulls me aside, goes, can I talk to you? And he's just like, uh, he's like, listen, honey, you can't come off stage looking like you do on stage because then nobody's going to respect you. Nobody's going to see you as this actor. And he just starts going like, don't you want to be like next to George Clooney? And then I just start going like, this sound like all the shit you wish for in your whole life. Like why, you know, but he told me like, you should wear a wig. You should have your tits out. You should wear heels. And I was just like, none of that that will actually probably push me back more because now I'm not even comfortable in my own skin. And so that's been a lot of my career of going like, I don't care to be, um, you know, the beautiful, sexy chick. Why well, can't be her best friend? I don't, you know, I don't have to dress like a dude, but I could freaking wear some jeans and a t-shirt. Right. And still be a girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So like, so you just, did you kind of move on from that at that point? Or did you try to work through that comment that your agent told you at the time? Yeah, I put them in my set and uh, eventually I let them go. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, it's, you, it, here's the deal. As he's saying that to me, um, the guy who owns the company that we did the Broadway show for, Off Broadway, walks by and does this. And he's just like, telling me how great of a job I did. And then he goes, who's that? I was like, that's the person <laughs> who put this entire thing on. So the universe works for me well, because as you're trying to put me down, there's something that's going to prove that I'm still on the right path. Right. Now, um, touching on like uh, homosexuality, especially in our community, can be viewed as taboo. A little bit more extreme, like in the black community. Do you remember when you came out to your family, that moment? Uh, I, well, I came out to my mom first. It was like I was 17. I remember us being in the car driving. I just, you know, my mom would always just be like, whatever you want to be in life, just be the best at it. You know, I don't care if you a crackhead, baby. Just You think she was implying something early on? No. Okay. I, I, because the reaction she had was kind of like, you know, uh, I think a lot of people, when they when they feel a certain way and you feel like they're attacking you or something, it's about it's about fear. You know, this is my child. This is my my love, my whatever. So if you tell me you're going to go out there and do something that's not being accepted, I'm going to fear for you. There's people committing suicide. There's people getting murdered. You know, so as a parent, you you know, my mom literally is just like, what did I do? And, you know, like, I, you know, maybe I didn't do this right. And it was like, it has nothing to do with you. I've been doing this since I was three, making mud pies with Cindy um, <laughs> across the hall. So you kind of knew early I on. I always felt it. And I dated dudes. Right. I dated dudes. And I thought, you know, maybe I was going to be a hoe later in life. And uh, <laughs> the whole actuality was I just loved women. The issue was that, you know, my grandfather was a Jehovah's Witness. And so for the upbringing, you were just afraid to like open that up. 
you know what I mean? But um, nobody, nobody really treated me different. I just got uh, roasted a lot. That was really, that was really all that happens in our family. If you, you want to go that route, that's, it's going to be enough. Did you ever bring um, like a girlfriend to like a family function and they, they roast it or create a moment out of it? No, my, I hate them so much. <laughs> I hate them so much. They never really roasted people in the face like they'll, you know, not in the face, but we have like little jokes, but no. I, the funny thing is, you know, having a portion of my brain still feel that religion and still question like, you know, where I'm at and is it wrong and all that stuff. Um, I never brought my girl around and was like really on her. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we'd be there. I could hold her hand and stuff like that. But especially around my grandparents, I just always felt like there was a respect level of and not because we're just gay. I mean, I could have been dating a dude and I wouldn't be tonguing him in front of them. But it was always like a, as, as much as people feared my grandparents bugging out, uh, especially my grandma was probably so embracing. It was weird. Like she, I was, I was one of her favorite grandkids. So, you know, I used to come bring her almond um, joy and all this stuff. and you know, protect her in certain ways when people were being rude to her. And so when I came out, you know, grandma was just like, you know, I understand, baby. You know, back in the day, me and Ethel, and you'd be like, grandma, just shh. I don't want to hear no more about you and Ethel. But she was very, very uh, kind to me.